Hello everyone, I'm Roger Wolfer. In this video I'll be telling you a little bit more about myself and show you some of my carvings and my tools and show you what I do. So I'm Roger Wolford and uh, I carve things using rotary power tools. That's what I do and uh, two of my favorite tools to use is uh, one a micromotor tool. Uh, this is an electric tool. Um, a lot of people are familiar with the Dremel tools. It's very similar to a Dremel. It goes a little faster and uh, has less vibration. Um, so here it is. Uh, it maxes out at 45,000 RPMs. My second tool is this little guy here. So this is a pneumatic dental drill. Um, it's a straight shaft dental drill. They're used in dental labs to to work on uh, dentures and things like that. Um, this one runs on air, so it's pneumatic and it maxes out at 400,000 RPMs. So yeah, you get the, that same squeal you get in the dentist's office that uh, freak most people out. But uh, the beauty of having those 4,000 RPMs, you can carve through hardened wood and stuff like that, and it just cuts through like, like a knife and hot butter. So that's another great tool that I have. So those are my two primary tools that I uh, use to do most of my carvings. I do have other things and we'll explore that later on in the video series. But those are the two main ones. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you some photos of past carvings I've done and uh, so you'll understand a little better about what I do. So as you can see with the, the videos there that I carve a wide variety of things, um, I've always kind of said that I, I can't seem to settle down on exactly what I want to carve. I've had people ask me in the past, hey, do you carve wood? Do you carve gourds? Do you carve eggshells? Do you carve gun stocks? You know, do you carve on furniture? What is it all that you carve? And I'm like, yes, to all of the above. I can't. Really, it's all the same thing, same kind of methods, and uh, it's just a matter of a different material, right? So, I uh, I really see no point to try to nail myself down to just a gunstock carver or a gourd carver. I honestly, I enjoy all of them. They all have their own set of uh, uh, difficulties and their own set of issues, but I I, I really enjoy just carving everything. Um, 
certain things that people traditionally would shy away from carving, like you know hardwoods, like walnut and, and uh, things like that. And um, even in, I can take that pneumatic drill and engrave in hardened steel, and uh, it's it's all about those high RPMs. So that kind of sets me a little bit apart from other people, I suppose, that I can go into those areas. Um, so yeah, I, most general um, traditional carvers using chisels and hand tools and stuff wouldn't probably go out and try to carve on walnut gun stocks, but uh, the pneumatic drill just makes that very easy for me. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me, uh, what's your favorite carving that I've ever done? And um, that's a really hard thing for me to answer. Um, the best answer I can give is my favorite carving is always my next carving. I, I carve things and then I, I look at it and I you know analyze it and I was like okay I can do this better or that better and so I'm always looking forward to that next carving and, and improving that a little bit more and uh, I personally I watch a bunch of YouTube videos myself of other people that I follow and I learn all kinds of things <clears throat> from YouTube so and then I take that and I bring it back to my next carvings too uh, so so yeah and um, as far as these videos that I'm doing here, the video series, um, I would like it to be a two-way conversation between myself and the viewers. Um, I definitely don't know everything. I will show you what works for me, what I've done in the past. But if you see something I'm doing wrong or you see something that would make my life easier, oh man, comment that, put it, in, put it down there and let me know. And uh, if you have questions, again, yeah, comment those, and then maybe I'll just do a video ever so often, and just go through and just answer as many questions as I can. Um, so yeah, I really want it to be a two-way street, and hopefully you can learn from me, and I can learn from you guys, and just kind of keep the conversation going. All right, so back in 2016, um, I released a book that I wrote. Um, right here it is, Dental Drill Art. Uh, it's a beginner's guide to engraving and carving with a pneumatic dental drill. Um, this is a very high level book um, for those people that really know nothing about the dental drills and how to carve and engrave with them. Um, I put it out there and it kind of came about, you know, I was I had YouTube videos and I'm on Instagram and Facebook and I would very often get emails from people wanting to know, hey, what's that tool you're using? How do you do it? How do I get into it? Can you help me out? So, you know, I, I kind of had this email typed up giving people information and, and how to get started and um, somebody told me one day, I was like, well, you, you should just write a book. For all these people that want to know this information so that's what I did and uh, so yeah, this was in 2016 I put it out there and I've sold quite a few and and uh, some people have found it really useful some people not so much but uh, um, it's spurred a few carvers out there that I know of um, to go out and use a dental drill and make some pretty great stuff so I'm pretty proud of that so anyways um, so yeah, it's a book. So the problem with books is, you know, I wrote this back in 2014-15 and, you know, and I released it in 2016 and things change and, and my opinions change and uh, technology changes. So um, one of the other goals with, with my video series here is kind of, you know, to update this book, you know, certain sections of it and different things. Um, to kind of kind of expand on this, so you guys can uh, kind of keep up with 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 what I'm doing and how the times have changed and whatever. So, yeah, that's another goal of the video series. So, um, if you already have the book, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I do videos related to that. Um, if you don't have the book, I eventually will probably cover most of everything in here. Um, little bit at a time so just stick with me so 
So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you find what I do interesting, uh, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Um, I, like I said, I'm on Instagram and Facebook also. Um, you can go there and kind of get a better idea what I do daily or weekly. Um, I'm going to have to be honest. I would love to be able to tell you guys that I'll put out videos weekly, monthly, or whatever, but I cannot commit to that. I am, I'm, I can commit to be consistently inconsistent. Um, carving is a uh, side hustle for me. I work a full-time job. I'm a manufacturing engineer. Uh, that's my primary job. Um, and I am married. And I have uh, two teenage boys, and we like to camp and do various things. Um, so yeah, my time is pretty limited, but I have been carving for over 20 years now, and I can honestly say it's not going anywhere. I uh, I, I just can't get it out of my blood. So what I what I will promise you though that when I do put out videos um, from here on forth I, I hopefully they have substance and uh, they may not be timely and consistent but hopefully they will have substance that uh, you find useful so uh, yeah subscribe follow along if you like if you find this interesting um, check me out on Instagram and Facebook